guys, Mac from Pattern Traders. So I made a small little cheat sheet for you guys in Discord to be able to see how we use the indicators and how, how simple and easy it is to actually, um, not really knife catch, but to know, to basically be on the right side of the trade. Don't long if you're red, don't short if you're green. People that are shorting support uh, down here are pretty much, you have a terrible RR. You know, wait for the bounce and short the retests. So I'll post this in the Discord after this video. Um, it's got a bunch of notes telling you when to buy, what to expect, and whatnot. It's pretty good. All right, so let's talk about Bitcoin. All right, guys, the macro cycle is bearish, right? Remember, I told you guys that the macro cycle turned bear turned bearish over here, and then it curved and stamped on December third. Uh, December sixth was the micro. Um, so if somebody has been following the bear cycles, or rather the cycles that we've been posting on Twitter and on Discord and Telegram, you know that we're officially downtrending, right? Um, and we're going to be until we get the macro to flip bull again. Based on price action and technical analysis, everybody was trying to long down here, trying to long over here, long over here, long over here. But by the time the technical analyst or the price action unfolds, the cycle already got what it wants. So those who have been trading based off of cycles know that they have an edge you're not going to see what we see because by the time the price action shows it, it's already too late. We already dumped like $2,000 and the entry was pretty much far away. Um, so as of right now, we have a micro bullish cycle that kicked in as of 1 a.m. yesterday. Today, actually. <clears throat> uh, stamped. So about, say, eight hours ago, nine hours ago, we're officially micro bullish. But the macro is still bearish. Ideally, we shouldn't see a daylight above the 95 yeah this over here because this was the official uh curvage and this was uh december 6 was the stamp so the stamp was here the curvage was here and the front one was was over here uh if you've been following us on twitter and, and and discord those were the dates that we gave those who have been those who are still into the in with in the shorts from the 95 96 97 98 should be okay until we see further down pricing um, so what are we expecting now, right? We got our first buy signal, right? We got a buy signal down here, and now we got our retest and whatnot. But um, get out of here, EMAs, four hour remove. I know on Bybit, I was talking to DL in Discord. On Bybit, the four hour got slapped. I mean, got got hit right but on, on usdt it didn't see that so terrible on my end because i had bids down here i'm not in i'm not in the scalp long unfortunately i got stopped i got stopped over um overnight i entered at seven seven with a stop loss at under this wick over here at seven six so i lost like half an r you know, I don't know what it was. I forgot, I forgot what I lost, but I lost. I, I got stopped out. Woke up, stopped out. Literally, wick down, stopped the low, and it bounced back up. I was expect. I had bids down here, literally on it and below it. I wasn't gonna front run the 400 EMA because more likely than not, when you're that close, you actually touch it. You hit it. You know, I wasn't expecting buy bit to tap in and bounce, but you was the T not to. So, anyway, what I'm expecting right now, this way I can make this video quick, is. Strictly from an oscillator perspective, let's close everything. Actually, let's go to the high-low first. Um, all right, so let me see. We do have a bold. Uh, yeah, we do have a bold div. We do have a bold div. We have a retest. This is a retest. This is a beautiful retest. This is what you really want to see when you're um, when you're buying the retest. This is the legit level. So safe to say that whatever retracement you get, long it with a stop under the wick. Um, RSX gave you your retest. This is your retest over here. The way this was your retest over here, right? Um, bottom, go up, retest. The reason why it's a retest is because it's a second. It's a second. It's a second exhausted green. Um, by the way, for example, you bottom here, then you go up and you retest. Now this retest came out came quicker. This was within about one day. This retest came within about I'm assuming yeah 24 hours also, maybe a little more, 26 hours and whatnot. 
So there's no difference between this structure and this structure at all. Only difference is this put in a div. This one didn't. Why well, you could say that it did, but you, know, you can see it was flat. And this one no. But um, and then this one had a beautiful little head. Those who have been following patterns, that's a, that's a beautiful head. This one did an inverse head. It's an inverse head, right? It's an inverse head, right? Look at that. It's an inverse head. Look at it. So top, top, and then this. This goes down over here. <laughs> That's exactly what that does. So if you look at it from an inverse scale, that goes up here. And then, you know, so that's what I'm expecting for BTC. I am going to long for sure when I get a retracement. I'm looking for longs. Um, now, in regards to a higher time frame, 12 hour, or finally green, or finally green, I want to see this to stamp it for me. If I don't see this, I'm not stamped. This will be a trend move. This will be a massive trend move, right? It might take like two weeks to play out. Put the monitor. A month, I mean not a month, 17 days, sorry. 17 days, say like two weeks, three weeks to play out. Um, bottom, go up, get rejected off the top and come back um, but overall structure wise based on what John and I have, have come to a conclusion this will most probably want to go a little bit lower but it doesn't mean that we can't get a bounce relief here and I'm anticipating something along the lines of Yeah, Monday low retest, guys. Really am. I don't know what's gonna care to see it, but the, you don't neglect a four hour retest like this. That's serious. So if you turn on your swing indicator, well, you don't have it yet, but you're gonna have it soon, right? Turn on the swing indicator, you're already curled in the four hour. A four hour curl is serious. You don't really, see, four hour curl? You're already curled. Four hour curl, right? You're already curled. Um, so the weekend is approaching. I expect all to kind of get a relief and we see what the swing RSX looks like. No, we don't really do much. Let me see. Oh, we have a, we have a div on the four hour swing RSX. We already bottomed out. Yeah, this, this is going to be a bottom dude, a temporary bottom before we go back up, short some, uh, squeeze some shorts out. It's a very good indicator when you have the swing with the, the swing RSX. It actually helps you catch the bottoms. Um, yeah, it's legit, guys. Look to long the dip. Look to long the dip. And then short it again on the 13th or the 14th around there. Because again, don't forget, we're in, a, we're in a micro bull cycle. I don't have to tell that to you. Look at the structure over here. All right. Um, this is previous weekly open. Use your high low indicator, guys. For 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 times like now, it's very important to know where your weekly, monthly, uh, daily opens are, man. It's very important to know this. Your CME is. I don't even know where you see me. Oh my god, I have the old one. Hold on a second, guys. There you go. CME's down here. Make this black. Uh, previous daily open is down here. I like my daily opens to be green. I gotta switch the color because I don't like yellow. Previous daily open is down here. Another daily open is over here, which got tapped. I'm telling you guys, if you look at the high low indicator, it's very precise. Where we keep hitting the same levels. Previous weekly open is over here. Um, 
right? Then we have Monday low, which is over here. I don't have to, I don't have to write it out. It's pretty evident. Monday low is here. And then we have weekly and Monday high over here. And you see how there's still a flat, a flat open over here? I'm telling you guys, we're going to come tap this. There's no way we're not going to tap this. Whether now or later, it's going to happen. We're going to tap this. We're coming back up here, up here, whether you like it or I like it or he likes it or whoever likes it. Monthly open, still hasn't been tapped. Another, another magnet of an area. All right, so let's just close everything out. And what am I looking at right now? So I am looking at this specific structure to play out, similar to how I have it over here, four hour, basically. That's exactly what I'm looking at. Um, and if you get, if you do happen to get above this structure over here, then it's easy that we target the nine five nine six, right? Uh, overall, I expect lower pricing. I do expect that we're, we're going to come contest this area down here. But in hindsight, if you're looking at it from a fib, fib perspective, we tapped the 0.6 to the T. So, with a div. So, you tell yourself, you, you, tap, you tap the point, the golden zone to the T, plus you form the div, plus you're in a bullish pattern, plus you have a bullish cycle going on, plus your four hour oscillator is doing a re retest, plus your RSX did your retest, dude, you have every single possible confluence you need that we're going to go uh, squeeze some shorts over the weekend. So I am looking for longs. I'm, I'm making it very clear. I'm still in my swing shorts from, from up here, from the 9596 area, 98 area, but I'm looking for longs. Unfortunately, I did not catch this long because I was sleeping. I got stopped out. I was in the long, I caught this long over here, went to bed, came back down, swept me, stopped me out because I had my stop under this and just ran. But it's okay, shit happens, man. We can't win them all. At least I'm honest. I'm not here to tell you that I always catch winners. So I started the day off with a with a minus with a minus like half R, whatever that was. I, I don't know exactly. I wasn't I wasn't really calculating my R or my risk. My risk management skills are terrible. Um, so that's what I'm expecting right now. I'm expecting us to get above week previous weekly open like this, retest this zone, and then fly up here to, to contest uh, Monday low. Everybody's shorting this area. I mean, yeah, you have the absolute every reason to short this daily open over here. You know what? I'm gonna mark it. Dark green is daily open, guys. Dark green is daily open. But if, if you're playing in a range that has not been established yet, always look for daily open taps. This is your daily open tap, right? So daily open, right? Everyone's expecting the daily open to get to, to, to break, right? But if you think about it in hindsight, if we happen to even get above this daily open, right? There's two daily opens. Dark green is daily open. If you happen to get above that daily open, let me go a little bit higher. Right there. Right? We even get above this, the A2. That's what I'm expecting, guys. We get above this level, this daily open over here. We're flying. I'm, I'm telling you, it's, this is not going to stop us. It's not going to stop us. There's no way. We're, we're, we are in a bullish structure, micro, with a bull cycle plus a four-hour retest. Uh, all our oscillators on the micros are bullish because everything has been downtrending for freaking 10 days. I don't see this stopping, right? Um, and then our main target will be this cluster over here and then this flat open. Um, and I don't think we're gonna get above weekly open, you know, if we're, if we're that much, if we're that bullish from that perspective. But that's exactly how I'm playing it, guys. I don't wanna make this video too long. Overall, I do expect lower pricing. Like for example, the daily still needs to, let me show you guys something. Yeah, ooh, unless this daily is trying to put in a head over here. This daily puts in a head. Oof, oof, nah, I don't think so, bro. This, this RSX is still dying. See how it was just, we're just like going straight nose diving, dude. You know, just nose diving. So until we find support to curl, I think, I think this is gonna break. This breaks the pivot. If it breaks this pivot over here and doesn't bounce by today, by tonight, to go back up, to create a head, to form a head, this is gonna come down here. Uh, two day, let me turn off the swing. Uh, no, guys, this is this is that this is death, bro. This is a this is a macro move. <clears throat> this is death. <clears throat> this is death. 
There's nothing bullish about this. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Macro-wise, there's nothing bullish about this. This is disgusting. Micro-wise, guys, yeah, 12 hours resetting right now, which looks good. I do expect to see some kind of behavior like this, right? I remember I told you guys where this thing comes up, it forms a little bit top, rejects, comes up, and comes and creates a and creates a low over here. Don't forget, guys, what I told you guys earlier. Go over here, go to your swing. I'm going to release this to you guys today. Anybody that's in our Discord will get the new RSX today. Don't forget, guys, in the 12 hour, I want to make it very clear to you guys that BTC in the last since COVID, since COVID, right? Let me turn everything else off. Let me turn everything else off. Since COVID, we only bottomed out once over here and once over here. So since COVID, it caught literally the two bottoms, the new RSX, the updated version with the swing mode, right? First bottom, second bottom. The minute you get a third bottom that's dark green on your RSX in the 12 hour, don't even hesitate to long. Long it. Long it. At that point, we should be some we should have something like this as well on the MSTX. Where we have black. See how we have black down here, guys? Alright, black, black. See how the trend is black? The trend bar is black. The blue, the blue band is black. Blue band is black over here. The signal line is black too. That means that you completely bottom the 12 hour. If you bottom on the 12 hour, guys, it's a safer long, swing long, spot long, buy spot and walk away. Um, so make sure you have your alert open for your 12 hour RSX for dark green, dark green. It caught the only two bottoms that we had since COVID crash, March and September. And it's going to catch this next one right here too, guys. I'm pretty sure it's gonna catch the next one right here too. Uh, and in regards to a liquidation perspective, Let's see what happened. Actually, let me, let me show you. Yeah. Liquidity. Let's see now. Let's turn all these. Ooh, don't be doing that to me, boy. Hold on. All right. Now, liquidity-wise, you always want to look at your one hour, guys. All right. We took liquidity. We took the 50L. We took the 50. Come on, dude. We took the 50. Oh, I can't. Oh, Jesus. I can't write because I have it. All right. So, we took the 50 down here. Um, now, in regards to, you know what? Sorry, I had to because I wanted to be able to write it. We took the 50. Now, what I'm anticipating is that next target is going to be, I'm assuming this, man. And the one hour. I, I, I see no reason for us to get down here after we took the 50 on both ends from the liquidity perspective. Scalping-wise, the 15 is usually your 50S. Yep, that's your best bet. And if you happen to get up here, that's going to be an automatic slap, 15 wise. So what I do with the liquidity indicator is, my one hour is my ceiling, right here, right? It's my ceiling, this is my ceiling up here. And then I go to my 15 minute, and I tell myself, all right, do I have confidence in my 15 minute? Yes, I do. I don't see us getting above the 15 minute 25. Um, so what, I'm, what am I anticipating from a short term perspective? Something like this, right? I would hope, guys, I really would hope, because I'm not in this right now, and I want to get in this. I'm really not in this. I'm very upset that I'm not in this long, and I want to get into a scalp long. Hit the golden fib, take the 100L liquidity, sweep these lows, fill some of this candle up, and then head back up, target this, target this, and then if we're lucky, target this whole cluster up here, and then if we're lucky, we're targeting that flat open up there yeah we're not gonna go straight up north to freaking 19,300 but I'm giving you the option that we have a lot going on for ourselves and if you look at it from a there we go oops look at it from a um, right here price action perspective this is what I'm anticipating to take place I'm gonna try to buy the dip um, as close as I can to down here in that box, right? Uh, and then I'm going to target my weekly open, daily open, daily open, and then this whole cluster over here. That's the game plan, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, DM me, um, and enjoy your weekend. Cheers.